gentlemen, it is now time for our very special guest here at Live on Bowen. He is an experienced comedian and actor, and we are very welcome uh, to have him here on the show for our final episode. Please make him feel very welcome, Mr. Adam Richards! <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Now, we're going on a break, but you're going on a break too. Yeah, I'm on holidays you're now. On holidays. I'm also drunk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Community TV. So, uh. <laughs> what? Where am what? I? You're on Channel 31 Community Gladiator. TV. Gladiator! <laughs> So what are you going to do for the next two weeks with your break off the radio? Uh, I will be sitting in my underpants watching television. What television will you be watching in your underpants? Um, I'll just tapes of myself from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> <No, sorry. laughs> old, old Channel 31 shows I used to do back in the early 90s. Do you have any footage of that? Because I I'm... do, actually. Yeah? Oh, do you no, need I'm someone sure. to join this experience with you? No. Oh. Please stay away from my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the restraining order was enough. I get Thank it. I get it. <laughs> now, um, you've been very busy lately, not only doing radio, but you're mm. working hard with The Shelf. You and <gasps> Justin The Hamilton. Shelf. Yeah, Justin Hamilton and I, we do, it's like we do seasons of, yeah. of comedy shows at uh, the top in town. Uh, but the show's very different to just a regular stand up. Well, yeah, we annoy people. Um, <laughs> we, well, we kind of like our hosting, we're like, it's usually us together hosting, and then we'll sometimes have like Will Anderson did the whole comedy festival run, and he was in our recent run, and we just tell stories on stage that should never be repeated. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, everyone who's on stage, we tend to have some, some sort of gas bag with, or Gatesy from Tripod who's never done stand-up before, we make him do stand-up. He's not good at it, but we make him do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's very pretty, so that's He's very pretty, and he can sing. Oh, that's good, that's So we good. make him sing a song at the end, just to oh, make right. everyone to wash the taste out of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and we have European Man, who's uh, indescribable. <laughs> And, uh, and Tegan Higginbotham as well. Tegan Higginbotham and Adam Rosenbachs do a news segment. Oh, they wonderful. do news headlines. Generally, they're about Hey Dad and not palatable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Now, um, you've been doing comedy for quite a while. Yes, um, nearly six weeks now. Six weeks, that's good. That's very good. Well done. Because I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a college student. Um, um, you what get was arrested you? for that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost breakfast radio in Hobart. Either way. One or the other. Um, um, were there any influences that got you into comedy? Like, who inspired you to get up and make people laugh? Um, assholes, generally. Uh, <laughs> no, it, assholes in your life or assholes? <laughs> no, on... I, I, was, I was a spoken word artist. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And like skivvies uh, and the stuff like that? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, really wanky crap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I would go, like all my friends were comedians, like I would, I would go to gigs with Corinne Grant and because, you know, it's hard for a woman usually because there's only one woman on the bill. So I'd just sort of, you know, turn up with her and sit backstage and see some of the most homophobic jokes you've ever heard in your life and go, why isn't anyone doing like something to redress this? Why yeah. isn't there a poof to doing stand up? And so I was like, well, you could do it. I'm like, oh, it's beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a spoken word artist. <laughs> And then I did my first stand-up gig and I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. I want to do this all the time. <laughs> and now 16 years later, I can't stop. It's like heroin. It is like heroin. <laughs> and you're like heroin for us. Are you happy to stick around for a bit? We'll talk more? No, but you know. <laughs> someone's got my car key. We, we, you can't go anywhere. Adam Richard right here. We'll be back. We'll be back at Live on Bowen. Don't go anywhere. Coming up on Live on Bowen, Stefan and Craig turn life into a musical. Stand-up comedy from Kate McLennan and music from Solar Salu. You're watching Live on Bowen. Welcome back to Live on Bowen where we mix Fifty Shades of Grey with Harry McClary. I'm, I'm right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're here with the fabulous Adam Richards! I love that video. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen it. Have you not seen Gangnam Style? Oh my god, I watch it like eight times a day. Oh, really? It's a thing now. That explains a lot. Yeah. Now, tell us... <laughs> tell, tell us about Outland, yeah? That's a... The, your TV show that you had on the yes, ABC? Yes, on the ABC, available to purchase from ABC Shorts. Um, or Do yourself online. a favour. <laughs> uh, it was a, a six episode uh, narrative comedy, they call it. Mm. Back in the old money, we called it a sitcom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was about a bunch of 
gay science fiction geeks all hanging out talking about Star Trek and Doctor Who and, you know, rude things. And so <laughs> <laughs> that was say something really rude. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, we can push the boundaries. Um, so was that like a dream come true for you, a TV show where you get to do your comedy and get to unleash the nerd within? I, there's no nerd within. There's no nerd? It's without? <laughs> I had to do a lot of research to find out about all this. I don't understand science fiction. Really? Like, oh, really? Yeah. Like, any of that stuff. I don't know. So you couldn't name the 11 doctors? I don't, I don't, there's no nerd within. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean by the nerd within? There's, there's, Is there's that not from one. Face of Evil? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Zoannan. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I know. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Only five people got that joke. Everyone okay. else going, move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been obsessed with Doctor Who since I was a little kid. And I, and the new series starts this weekend. I know. <laughs> five o'clock in the morning. Thank God. I've breakfast radio and my body clock is set to four a.m. <laughs> Are you a uh, little bit of peace coming out? Or a lot of pee? A slippery way. <laughs> <laughs> Special way. Now, uh, I, 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 <laughs> have you got a favourite era? Are you a fan of the modern era or the classic era? I, I love the Matt Smith stuff now, but yeah. I also I really love the Tom Baker, the early Philip Hinchcliffe, Robert Holmes stuff. Oh, the God, God, I'm so nerdy stuff. now. That's okay. <laughs> producers and script editors. <laughs> <laughs> the producers are in my going, we've only got one minute. <laughs> Fuck that, we're going on for hours. <laughs> <laughs> We had, we had Fraser Hines on last week for the Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie. I know. Did you get to see a biscuit? I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not worth it. But um, so when you when you were growing up, what was what was harder to keep uh, you know to yourself? Was it you know the fact that you're homosexual or the fact that you're a nerd? Uh, what was the part harder to come to terms with? It was well, they're easy to come to terms <laughs> with. It was harder to hide being gay because I don't know if you noticed my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Hoofterland, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Not Sydney. No, I, I grew up in Brunswick. Uh, but no, whereas, you know, I, I had like a Doctor Who newsletter. I used to invite my friends around. We used to hang out in the. And you're like you know, writing articles for the Doctor Who you know, Victorian I fan did. club. I used to write articles for them. <laughs> <laughs> About Doctor Who radio plays that you can buy on CD. They're really good. <laughs> Have really you listened good. to The Lost Adventures with Tom Baker back? Yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome, aren't they? Really cool. Check them out. They're really fucking They don't want to hear that. They, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I've this got is, someone on this TV. This a not on TV conversation. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, well, it's 10.31. So You're it's... dragging me down to your nerdy level. I don't want to be part of it. Okay, right, fine. <laughs> That's all we have time for. If you want to keep in touch with Adam Richard, please do. Please give him a big round of applause. Adam Richard! <laughs> I'm sorry for dragging you down.